Hi, welcome to the Gapster channel. I'm Gabby. I am testing today three switching power supplies, five volt power supplies, and we're gonna see which one is best. Uh, we're gonna measure the ripple. Uh, in my last video, I showed you how I measure ripple on power supplies going down to one microvolt using nothing but uh, and, uh, computers that you might have uh, laying around and an inexpensive sound card. And uh, I'll put a link of that video below if you haven't seen it. So let's get testing those three power supplies. Uh, the first one I'm going to test is a very generic one and uh, this one here. Uh, the second one is one that's actually regulated and you can adjust the voltage on it. And the third one is by iFi and it's supposed to be a good one. So let's find out and see which one fared the best. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is just quickly calibrate our, uh, everything here. So we're gonna put in 10 millivolts uh, to uh, peak to peak to uh, calibrate with. In my last video I used one volt but I think that was a bit too much and I've got here a 50 ohm resistor as a load. We're going to ground this and close that and we're gonna output that 10 millivolt and here we can see on the screen. So what we're gonna do here again we're gonna go say calibrate and say 10 millivolt and bear in mind these are peak to peak voltages not RMS but the results will be in peak to peak because it's a linear formula. And here we go, we got 10 millivolts and now we can start uh, measuring. So first we're going to use a generic power supply here. We're going to put under load here. I'm going to close the lid. We've got the ground here on the edge still. Close that. Let's turn to our screen and see what happens. We're going to plug this thing in. All right, I haven't plugged it in yet and you can see that our noise level is below the one microvolt level. We're gonna plug it in now and things starts to jump as soon as we do that. And right off the bat, we can see there is some uh, 120, which is a product of 60 uh, shooting up here about, let's measure that here. That would give us 12.23 millivolts. So 12 millivolts. Uh, is what we see here. We could see also it's creeping up past the 20k here. We've got a couple spikes here in the 30k and the 45k region as well. So uh, all in all it's not the greatest. Uh, it's it's good. It's average. It's not terrible. 10 millivolt is kind of somewhat okay for an average uh, power supply. So uh, we're gonna move on and try a different. The next power supply is one where you can uh, set actually uh, the voltage, which is very interesting in case you have a, a certain appliance, you can uh, decide what voltage you want. So it's kind of handy. So it's got a good feature actually. I'll put a link for this one below. It might come in handy for certain applications. So I'm just going to try to get as close to 5. So that's about 5.17 here. It's close enough. And we are going to plug that thing into the setup. Here we have. All right, so what do we have here? We've got, um, actually it's pretty, not bad at all. Uh, it's definitely below the 1 millivolts. You remember the other one was 10 millivolts. So this one is about half a millivolt, 471 microvolts, so about half a millivolt. So that's that's pretty good. Uh, the ripple on the uh, 60 here is about 47 microvolts, so it's even better. So that's, that's pretty decent for, uh, for a uh, power supply like that. And the fact that you can adjust the voltage on it, it's, 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 that's, a good, uh, that's a good thing. So I'm going to move on to the next one. So the next, the next one is uh, from a company called uh, iFi and uh, they make some really decent products and they are switching power supplies and comes in a very fancy box with different adapters. It's got all you need to pretty much adapt to anything. So it's kind of handy and they claim uh, one microvolt ripple. So uh, I don't know, that's pretty ambitious. So let's see uh, how it tests. Okay, so I got it here connected in the box just like the other ones. We're gonna ground it again and close the lid and have a look and see what's going on. All right, so what do we have here? We've got uh, 
it actually looks really good. So uh, this is the highest peak here. We've got about 2.7 microvolt. That's that's really really good. They're claiming one, so we're not far off. I mean, this is not state of the art equipment here we're measuring with. So that's pretty decent. Uh, really really good, I would say, for a switching power supply on top of that. So here you have it. Not all uh, power supplies are the same, especially. Uh, there's so many really good switching power supplies. I will put a link of this one below if anybody's interested. It also comes in a 5, 9, 12 and 15 volt option. So here you go. Now you could see how to measure ripple on your own power supplies if you like uh, using some very easy uh, uh, method. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. It would really help this channel to keep on going. Uh, to see how to set up for your software to, uh, to measure the ripple to a low level, I'll put a link for the video up here. And if you would like to subscribe, I'll put a link down here. Hope to see you next time. Take care.